on today's Tech Help for Churches, signing up for MailChimp to use it for your email newsletter. Hi, and welcome again to Tech Help for Churches. This is the show where every week we talk about using the internet and new media, social media, etc. for your church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your questions, by the way. So even though we're in a conversation right now, the last few episodes about uh, using email newsletters, and we're going to get more into that in a second, I'd love for you to drop your questions about social media, podcasting, any of that stuff right now. Just put it below the video or head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com contact. And there you can find all my contact information or if you prefer, just leave it there. Any of those things are perfectly okay. So last week and the week before I talked about using email newsletters. And last week, I told you that there is a provider that is a free service for um, newsletters that would be the perfect size for the vast majority of churches, and it's free. So it's actually the one that I use. So if you're on my email newsletter, then you've already gotten emails from this. If not, stay tuned. At the end, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. But let's head over to my computer, and I'll show you what I use. Okay, here we are. This is the service that I use, and it's free for the first 2,000 people that you have on your email newsletter list. So, if you're like most churches, you're thinking, 2,000? We don't have 2,000. Exactly. You don't have 2,000 people in attendance, so this is the perfect thing for you to use for free. So, this is just a little tip. First, what we want to do is go to MailChimp.com, M-A-I-L-C-H-I-M-P.com, and we're going to click Sign Up for Free. Here we go. Just a second. Now you'll see it's already filled in my information. I'm just going to get rid of that. So let's see here. Let's fill in one of my email addresses this of course would be an email address that you would use for your church whether it's uh, the church email address uh, secretary or administrative assistance email address in some churches it might just be the pastor's email address doesn't matter so this is the account for the fictitious church that I have made up in the past. Yes, you're right. This is First Church Hack and Sack. I really hope there isn't a First Church Hack and Sack because I tend to use their stuff all the time. And I'm just going to put in a password here. Um, and create my account. Let's see if it lets me do that. Okay, it's not going to do this. Okay, so maybe what it's saying is, yeah. Uh, eight characters minimum, one lowercase, one special character, one uppercase character, one number. So let's see here. Yeah, there we go. I'll use that one, which you don't get to know. 
And you'll notice that right here, uh, this is, I also use LastPass to remember all the, my passwords. That's a, just a little bonus tip. So I am, let's see here, not now, okay. So there we go, and I am ready to go. Um, we'll be getting an email here shortly in my email box. So let's see if I've got that over here yet. Okay, so that is good to go. That should bring up this right here. Here we go. And it tells me that this is all good. So I'm just going to shut that down and we'll see this open up and it looks like it's going to test to make sure that I'm human that I'm not like bulk creating accounts or anything. So of course it's a CAPTCHA 1173 so I'm just going to do that 1173 and confirm sign up. Okay so now it wants some information about me and let me just basically tell you all about this first first name last name so it needs a person you're sending it from again this could be the pastor this could uh, be the administrative assistant let's do this Rev love joy okay let's say that's the pastor of First Church Hackensack now about how many people are in your organization let's say that there's 301 to 500 how old is your organization oh we're like a hundred years old uh, do you have a list of emails to import if you already do click yes if no no are you setting this up for a client no okay First Church Hack and Sack. Let's see here. And then it needs some address information. This is important because of the Can Spam Act, but it's shouldn't be an issue for you because you're a church and you want people to find you anyway that's going to put this at the bottom of all your emails so no problem now let's go to industry now the reason that it has all this stuff is so that you can compare so let's see here religion is one I know that we don't like to think of ourselves as religious but that they mean churches and the like so I'm going to select that uh, time zone Hackensack is in New Jersey so that's the eastern time zone so that's cool I could put a photo in there I'm not going to worry about that right now and I can choose this this will help me s save some stuff I'm not going to worry about that I'm just going to click get started and we'll see if this takes me here okay here we go. Now, this will take me through a lot of different tutorials and uh, stuff like that. I'm just going to clearly get through this pretty quickly. And basically, this is really all you need to know. We'll dive more into this next week but this is where you create your emails and it's really not all that much more difficult than using your current email client but because of some of the back-end stuff and some of the tools that are included in here this is a better choice than to send it from your church email but here's the beauty part because you signed up with your church email it will then as a result um, 
it can send it appearing to come from your church email, and if anyone replies, they'll re reply to your church email. So it could be that you want to create a newsletter at firstchurchhackensack.com kind of email. It could be that you want the pastor's email to be the one. It could be that you want the administrator's email to be the one. I don't know. That's up to you. But remember, it will come from your address, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with this. So come back next week, and we'll dive more into what you can do. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that you see that signing up for this is really not all that difficult. It's just a few steps, and then you can use it to get the word out about the announcements, just anything that you would put in a paper newsletter. But it will be delivered to people's phones, their computers, their tablets, just wherever they are, whenever they are. And they'll be able to look directly at the information, click on links, go to web so websites that you might reference, etc. So it's really a powerful tool. If you like this content, you'd probably like my newsletter, which is absolutely free. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts. And there you can choose one of the free gifts that I have for you, and you'll get a free copy of this newsletter. And I hope that that'll help you, and I hope that it's something that you'll use as you're going out and changing eternity. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com.